Yeah, that's my face right now as well. Starting off with dailies, and then I'm going to be upgrading some characters today. Probably some of their weapons as well, and then see where I can go from there. But first, I want to see if I can enhance this sword. Sack virtual sword, I think it uses the chains. Okay, it does use chain. And today is the day, so yeah, I can go ahead and get some. Two times bonus, I'm probably just going to do the third highest difficulty because the fourth one is probably going to take a while. And then yeah, you have the Hydro Domain. Not difficult if your characters are around the same level, but it is annoying because of the double cooldown. It's either this one or the Mondstadt Talent Book Domain that's really annoying. Which is also pretty funny considering how these two domains are in the beginning of the game, and yet they are the most annoying ones. Maybe the Inazuma one's a little bit annoying, but compared to the Mondstadt ones, where you have double cooldown and you can't even use your abilities, I think the Mondstadt ones are worse. So if that took a minute and 44, then doing this should take about 6-7 minutes. Not too bad. Doing it three times for the double rewards. One purple chain. Pretty good, actually. And the double cooldown mechanic isn't really that much. It's not really present anywhere else in the game. I think it used to be in the Spiral Abyss, but they took it out. Probably because it was extremely obnoxious. I think efficiency really just comes down to how easily I can group them. The better I can group them, obviously, the faster the clear time will be. But without animal characters, grouping can be a little tricky sometimes. It really just depends on how well you know the movement patterns of the monsters. I don't really pay attention to stuff like that, so it kind of just comes down to luck. So yeah, this clear time was definitely a lot faster. Probably just did rotations a lot better. A little under a minute and 30 instead of two minutes. And I got another purple chain, that's really good. So I think this should be enough to get it to level 80, hopefully. But I do need to go get some Ruin Guard materials, so let's go get some. You could blame me for my bad accuracy, but you can also blame Kali. Oh yeah, also that reminds me, in Mondstadt, these only give two Primo Gems, not five. Even though it's an exquisite chest, game likes to troll you. Okay, so we have clown number one here. Just a normal Ruin Guard, nothing too special here. And that's clown number one taken down. Let's go hunt clown number two. There's clown number two. Ruin guards are all mostly the same. You just shoot down their core and then they won't harm you. Or not like they won't harm you, but more like they're unable to because you knock them down. I remember when I first started playing Genshin, I was really scared of these things because I was scared of just how much damage they would do. And I didn't know that you can shoot down their cores. So, the more you know. Also, Burning Reaction doesn't seem to be that bad in the beginning of the game. Or that just could be because I slapped a lot of Elemental Mastery on Xiongling, but I don't know. Burning, burning certainly does fall off later, but I think in the beginning of the game, it's good to use. Oh, there's a cutscene. I'm just trying to claim my dailies. Okay, so it turns out that's actually the interlude chapter, Act 1, I believe, which is the one where you meet Dainsliff. Or I could be completely wrong. I, I actually don't know. There are so many quests right now. Okay, so upgrading Sacrificial Sword now. Hopefully I farmed enough chains. Um, probably will need more of these. I'll go get some more afterwards. But let's see how far I can get the sword now. So that's level 40. Yep, definitely need to get more of these, so... Time to go get more. Okay, well, that was unintended, but I mean, I'll take a free chest. Even if it doesn't give any Primo Gems. Okay, so hopefully this should be enough of the Ruin Guard material. Let's see. So it looks like no, because I have to craft more of these. So I guess I'll have to go hunt down a few more. Going to use the navigation book because I just don't remember where they are. 
I haven't farmed Rune Guard material on any of my accounts in a very long time because I don't have a need for the material anymore. Usually if you check isolated areas in Liyue or Mondstadt's, mostly Liyue though, you'll find some Rune Guards eventually. Another Chaos Core. I'm actually getting really lucky with those today. That's my third one. Besides these Rune Guards, there wasn't really any other monster that was terrifying to me when I first started playing. The only one I can think of is probably the Oceanid Summons, the ones in the air. But do those really count as monsters or is it part of a boss? I mean, technically they are monsters, but I mean, fighting monsters in the overworld that you can encounter out in the wild, not tied to a boss. But if you want to count them as a monster, then yeah, I was kind of scared of those too. Like, if you didn't have access to a bow character, those were pretty much impossible to kill. Especially when the game was new. Um, I think the only characters that were able to deal with it were all bow characters, obviously. Uh, Cushing was able to. Diluc, I think, was kind of able to. And... I think that's pretty much it. At the top of my head, I can't really remember, but... I know for certain, the Ocean Ed summons were really hard to deal with when the first when the game was first new. When it came out. Okay, so hopefully this is the last rune guard I have to kill. Also, it's raining for me, so that's really good. More bloom course. Only two chaos devices. Also, there's a geoculus over here. I might as well just pick it up since I'm already here. And speaking of which, I probably should collect more animoculus and geoculus pretty soon. So I can have a bigger stamina bar. Because as we all know, not having stamina is very painful in this game. Okay, so I think this Rune Guard is the last one I'm going to go for right now. This should probably be enough to 80 for the Sacrificial Sword. Base attack doesn't really matter for Dendro reactions, so... Not having a Sacrificial Sword upgraded that much, I think is okay. You just miss out on a little bit of energy recharge. Also, it's kind of funny how the game is telling me to go to Inazuma, even though I haven't unlocked it yet. So let me see... I don't need any more of these low tier ones, so craft all of them into this one. Let's see, Sacrificial Sword. 8 out of 6. Okay, they're called Chaos Circuits. Good to know. Okay, so I'll definitely have to get more of these, but I'll probably just do that on my own later. I don't want to just make this whole video or this whole thing about collecting crystal cores. Chaos cores, not crystal cores. But yeah, you get the point. So I'm going to switch to this now because Sacrificial Sword is actually a lot better on Dendro Traveler. You get your elements to burst up a lot more often. The low base attack doesn't really matter. And being able to reset your cooldown, although Refinement Rank 1 isn't really that good, it's still something. The Flute will probably just go on someone else if I upgrade a Sword character. So we'll wait and see what happens. Okay, for the remaining 80 resin, what can I use it on? Probably just Shangling, right? First time chat, bread bed, says fat. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Why does my damage suck? Oh, I'll tell you why. Okay, so I'm adventure rank 41, world level 5. You see that, right? Okay. And Barbara is only level 40. Shangling is only level 17, and it was also against Pyro versus Pyro. And then Kale is only level 50. See, I made the mistake of just playing on this account with dailies and never upgrading anything, and then also sending the world level. And so yeah, now you have this problem where I can't kill the Oceanid. Um, Shangling is the only character I can probably upgrade. And trying to kill the Dendro Shroom is really hard to do. So that's why my damage sucks. Now I'm just relying on Dendro Elemental Reactions to do damage, because that's what we all do. My Yelon, Xingqiu, Barbara, Zhongli could kill this in a second. Level 50, Lamao, just Shangling, Skull Emoji. Didn't your account get banned? Oh, I'll add you, don't worry. Happy face emoji. There's nothing, nothing terrifying about that. Yeah, I haven't gotten a 5 star yet, which is really unfortunate, because I want a 5 star, but... I don't have a 5 star yet. Freedom Sworn for Traveler. Yeah, I'm not wasting uh, wishes on the on the Weapon Banner. Weapon Banner is a, a complete scam. Oh wait, 
I can upgrade this too. Not that it really does anything, but it's still upgrading something. Now my Barbara will heal 110 instead of 100. Okay, so time to upgrade Kale, I guess. Let's go. Maybe I should lower my world level temporarily so this can be a lot easier. Why not? You can always raise your world level anyway. So that was definitely a lot easier because I lowered my world level. I probably should have just done this sooner. And I have to go collect more of these Forsaken Mushrooms. It makes sense I say sorrow like sorrow and not sorrow because other people say sorrow like sorry not sorry. I D F K nice. Are you angry or are you just trying to explain something because I can't tell. You, you sound angry but it's, it's through text so it's pretty hard to tell. Okay, if you say sorry like sorry, then yes, that's Canadian. A lot of Canadian people say it like that. But not all Canadians say it like that. Similar and not... S wait, similar and not similar. Similar and not similar. Okay, yeah, that, that's another good one. Very subtle differences when Canadians speak compared to Americans. Although, I have heard some Americans say similar before. It's just... A lot less common, but some people do say it like that. Now the real question is, how do you pronounce carousel? Because if you say carousel, I, I don't know what else to do. Also caramel and caramel. Caramel is the correct way to say it. Alright, people say caramel, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Also, I'm just kidding, there's no correct way to say it, but when people say caramel, it's really weird. Caramel sounds a lot more correct. But I guess it does make sense because car, like the word car, caramel. But then where does the A go? Caramel? Carmel? Did they just forget about the A? Also, it's been a long time since I collected these mushrooms. I honestly don't even remember where they are. And even with a map, I probably can't even access any of them because they're mostly underground anyway. Okay, I have enough of the mushrooms now. I just need more of these. So let's go to the crafting table. Okay, it looks like I have just enough. So, getting Kale to level 70 will be really good because of dental reactions. If she happens to trigger Bloom and the Bloom core goes off, then it'll be a lot more powerful. Also, level 60, not level 70. The thing you have to do on a free-to-play account is take advantage of what Hoyverse gives you because you don't really have the option to spend Prima Gems on whatever you want. Yeah, kind of have to just save them. I think since I got a deep wood feather from that, I should be able to use four piece deep wood now. Although I will probably have to use a pretty bad artifact, but whatever. So four piece deep wood is definitely going to help Dendro Traveler's personal damage. So I should probably start running an Electro Kicker soon so I can take advantage of Hyper Bloom and spread an Aggravate. Okay, so let's go back to the Pyro Regis Vine to upgrade Chongling again. So now that I've lowered my world level, this will definitely be a lot easier than before. I think for the Pyro Regis Vine, it doesn't really matter because it's pretty easy to kill anyway. Because it's one of the early bosses, so lowering the world level doesn't really matter. Um, I think you still get two drops per boss run that you do at world level 4. I could be wrong though. Okay, so I'm going to do one attempt at the Oceanid, and if I can't do it, then I don't know what to do anymore. Basically, I'm just relying on Kale here, because she's the only one who can actually damage the ones that are floating in the air. Barbara is just going to heal, she's not going to do any damage whatsoever. So I pretty much only have three characters right now, but we'll see how this goes. Alright, originally I wasn't intending on upgrading Barbara any further, but... Seeing that I'm going to probably rely on a Dendro team for a while, so Hyper Bloom and Burgeon maybe, I might as well just upgrade her. The increased healing will definitely help. So although the Oceanid is a pretty annoying boss, I think it was one of the most challenging ones, which was pretty fun as well. Especially when everyone first started off in the early days of Genshin. Trying to defeat this boss was definitely a challenge. Which was good. 
Having challenge in this game, I think, is always fine. Obviously, not too much challenge. You don't want this game to be too hard. But being able to just do a boss that's not... You just run in and one-shot them. I think that's really good for the game. Also, it looks like Burgeon can actually damage those. Which wasn't an option when Genshin was in its early days. I remember people used to complain how annoying this boss was. But if you want to make this boss really easy, then just bring Pyro or Electro, or even Cryo. But to deal with those flying ones, you definitely want to bring either a Catalyst character that has vertical attacks, or a Bow character. Some characters that aren't Bow or Catalyst can get away with damaging them, but it really depends on who. Some characters just have really high vertical attacks, while others don't. So it looks like this is the final phase. Just sending out Hydro Mimics again. Whatever. Virgin. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Virgin is really good in some cases. Elemental Mastery. That could actually be pretty useful for any Electro character that I might use for Hyper Bloom. Okay, so I can finally ascend Barbara because I lowered my world level. So, we're healing. And she can also kind of be a tank as well, with all the HP she has. Okay, so I think the plan is get Kale to 70, and then Barbara to 60. So I'm going to keep refreshing my resin until I'm able to do that. So, I'm gonna go back to the giant chicken and just upgrade Kale next. So currently, I think this is going to be my main team. Um, I'll probably just swap out Shangling for any Electro character. I'll decide on that later. And then once this main team is upgraded, I'll use that to probably just upgrade other characters. Most likely characters that aren't used that much, so probably like Shenyan, Kojosara, and just build them and see how they perform in this game. The game decided to give them to me for free, so I might as well just take advantage of it and upgrade them whenever I can. I kind of forgot that you can lower your world level in this game for some reason. I'm not sure why I didn't think of it earlier, but doing it definitely helps if you're in a spot where your account is in a tough spot. So being able to upgrade stuff from previous world levels is always good. And then you can prepare yourself for more difficult world levels. Attack percentage. I mean, the attack percentage isn't bad. What is bad are the substats, and this is terrible. Really represents all the 5-star artifacts I get on my main account. Sad days. Alright, so assuming I get two each time, then I only have to do this two more times and then collect more of these mushrooms. The only problem is I probably won't have enough for these, so I'll probably have to use the dust to convert it. So for Kale, should be good to go in a little bit. For Barbara, let me see. I'll have to fight the ocean in two times. I should be okay with these hydro crystals. Let's go back to the ocean. Nid. Yeah, that's my face right now as well. Okay, well, um, let's try this again. I wonder if they're ever going to bring back the ocean Nid event where you had the custom ocean Nid that you could fight. I really like that event. It gave kind of like a challenge if you wanted it but also had the option to just do very easy difficulties for the rewards. That is one thing I like about Genshin, is for the events, they give you the option to do the harder ones for pretty much no reward. You get like some maybe XP crystals or Mora, but they don't require you to do harder difficulties to get the Primo Gems, which is really nice. You can just play it very casually and you don't have to basically sweat to get all your primo gems. Now some events are really annoying just to get your primo gems, but that's a different story. I'm just talking about how easy it is to do events and get your primo gems. It doesn't require you to be mechanically skilled at anything. You can really just do it whenever and however you want. And some events that have really difficult puzzles, they give you hints after a while or you can always just look up the tutorial if you're really having trouble doing it. So that's the one thing I really like about Genshin. It's very casual. There's no set way to do things. 
you kind of just play however you want. And you'll have the most fun when you do that. Also, I did not know that bloom cores can go underwater. For some reason, I always thought they would float. I got an achievement for something. I'm assuming it was Burgeon, but I don't know for sure. Okay, so yeah, lowering the world level again. <laughs> Definitely a lot easier. The Oceanid was actually pretty easy. Which is surprising because it's usually a boss that's really hard to do if you don't have the characters for it. But with this setup, I was even able to do it, so... Lowering your world level definitely helps. Yeah, Kali's auto-targeting is uh, something else. Okay, I actually do remember where to get Rikishaba mushrooms. There are a few underneath here. And apparently there's a chest here as well. Anyway, by a few, I meant just one. But one is greater than zero. If you know how to do math. I will take it, no complaining. So I never noticed how many mushrooms there are down here. That's crazy. Look at all those blooms. Dang. Dendro is really fun. Uh, I'm so glad Dendro was released. I know it wasn't part of the game for a long time, but now that it's been here for a little over nine months, it's a really, really good elemental reaction. Also, I just realized that I was beating up Bongo Head's whole family, and now I'm beating up Bongo Head again. Poor Bongo Head. An assassin from our homeland, or a fool who trespasses upon the waters of Qingta. Coveting the shapes of the living, pure water can take on many forms. In this way shall water deliver your punishment. Punishment for what? What did I even do? Trespasses the water of Qingta, but there wasn't a sign or anything that said don't go here. So could you imagine little Timmy walking over here with no sign that says don't trespass, and then the ocean in just drowns him. Okay, that's actually pretty dark, but y you get the point. Genshin's a pretty dark game then. If there's no sign over there that says don't go here. So pretty much any kid can just run in here and uh, yeah, the ocean will be angry at them for some reason. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, I know I've said this already, but I'm actually really glad I lowered the world level because now this is super easy. When the world level was five, I couldn't even get through the first wave of these monsters. But now, it seems pretty easy. Now I'll be able to upgrade Barbara as well. Okay, so that should be enough to upgrade Barbara. But I do need the, the Hydro Crystals and one more Philanimo Mushroom. Let me go grab that really quick. So that reminds me, the first time when my friend played Genshin, he got Klee and he was asking me, where do I get the Philanimo Mushrooms? And he was pretty much going insane on where to find them. And I told him, Mondstadt. Just find them in Mondstadt. And he said, where? Where in Mondstadt? Where do I go? There's there's nowhere on the map that shows where they are. And it's also funny because Klee gives you the map thing that tells you where the local specialties are. So I was assuming that it wasn't going to be that hard to find them, especially if you just look up an online map on where to find them. And then Klee tells you where to get them on the map as well. But apparently he was still having trouble, which I think kind of goes to show that Philanimo Mushrooms can be kind of annoying to find. Or maybe it's because they're just so scarce and there's not that many of them on the map. Either one's possible. But yeah, he was really angry and I couldn't tell if he was angry at me or at the game. Probably both, to be honest. Also, another tip in Genshin, just this one's really simple. Whenever you see resources, just collect them. Even if you think that you might not need them, just pick them up anyway. Pretty much just be a treasure hoarder, but for loot. Okay, so... Hydro Crystals. I think I needed three, and I'm now able to send Barbara. Yep. And I also think I get a free Intertwined Fate. I mean, a Quaint Fate. Don't know how I mixed that one up. There we go, level 60. I could also upgrade her talents now. Probably just do it. Why not? Same thing with the elemental burst. Not gonna bother with her normal attack. Doesn't really do anything. As for Kale, I could upgrade her talents, but she's Dendro and I don't really think it matters. Maybe I'll upgrade it in a bit. 
But first, let's go back to the giant chicken once again. I also forgot to factor in the fact that this is a lot easier to do because I have 4 piece deep wood now. So any dendro damage is pretty much going to do a lot more damage. Okay, and also Barbara's healing is considerably better now. I can tell the difference. Okay, so I just need more of these mushrooms, but I don't think I have access to them because they're all mostly underground. So I'm just gonna have to wait a few days to upgrade Kali. Um, I could check some other locations, but I don't think it's going to be enough to get her to 70. Alright, so this video is about 25 minutes long now after editing, and so I'm gonna stop it here. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you in the next one.